Hi everybody and welcome to part four. Now I have to do an apology uh, through human error and a new editing system. I lost a few clips but I've managed to get everything together and get it sorted and one of the clips was the start of this video so I'm having, having to redo it and like I say my apologies for that but what we'll be dealing with this time is we're going to be dealing with the battens, getting the roof tiled and the lead work and bits and pieces like that. So without no further ado, we'll go straight across and we'll start getting the battens cut. Now what I'm using for the battens, I'm just using a bit of stock uh, balsa wood. This is 1.6 and it comes in a long length and I just cut it down. Now I've made myself a little jig. Uh, this roughly cuts at about 2.4 and all we do we slide it under and then just use a sharp knife and we cut a strip off like so and that gives us our little batten the jig is very easy to make it's just a piece of styrene with another piece of styrene stuck on top as you can see it's coming loose now uh, just to give you depth and that is as is, is easy as that. Uh, I've already cut all my battens and I've already pre stained them. So I've got all my battens there. So that means that we can actually get on and get this roof tiled in. Right, so we're back up on the little roof now. Now, we need to actually get this set up for your first tile and the way I'm setting it up is I'm going to put a tile into the gutter and up and a, another one like so when I do that about there look. and another one there and that is where your first batten is going to be glued level with them tiles now I should glue that all the way along and then uh, well I'll do that one first uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put you on pause and do that because it's very difficult to get around it but I'm going to be using super glue uh, I'll be just holding that in place super gluing it as I go along and the batten I'm only bringing to the edge here of the gable and it will be the same that end the, all the battens will be okay I've glued my first batten across using the full tile as my gauge which I should take out now so that's our starting point now I've glued onto the onto the trusses all the way through but I've not glued the ends on the simple reason is because we need to actually put a starter tile up underneath them battens all the way along so that's the reason why I've not glued them so now we need to put the battens on all the way now if we turn a tile sidewards like so and take it out of that glue a tile like that a tile there another tile there and then what we do is our next batten we use them as our gauge and we glue them like that all the way along again and we just keep repeating that we'll put the tile on top another batten the tile on top another batten until we get to the top it's as very easy as that so I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna get this all battened out to the top and then I'll come back to you again right all the battens are done front and back went on with no problems the one thing I will say though when you are doing the battens and if they start going a little bit wonky don't worry about it for the simple reason is uh, even when they were done on proper roofs the the battens were never straight so don't panic about it if your battens go off a little bit just correct it and go on and it will make it look more more realistic now because all the battens are done, this means I can get on and get the tiling done. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, 
I'm actually going to run a quarter tiles up from the bottom there all the way up over the other side on both gables and I'm going to set it a distance of uh, about that's about 1.7 this piece of timber I've got there so I'll be just giving it that little bit of an overhang and that will be for the uh, cement work for when we're finished so what I'm going to do now then I'm going to run coarse tiles up there down that side up that and down that gable and then I'll come back to you and we'll go on to the next bit Right, well, I've glued the uh, gable end starter tiles on on both sides there that end and that end now we can start putting tiles on now normally there's a tile on its edge like that to make the water bond now we don't really need to make the water bond so I'm just going to go straight off on top there first course just so it's sitting into the gutter all the way along so I'm going to get on with that and then I should come back to you and then we'll keep just moving along now I've got the first course on the bottom and the first course on the back as well now it's just a matter of uh, laying more tiles on top of each other and it will be simply following the battens like so gluing them on one at a time and running all the way across but if you're doing it I would overhang start with the first one to do a half bond then glue the second one on so it sticks out because it's easier to sand it down than it is to actually try and cut these so if you glue half bond uh, then glue the next one on the end so it overhangs the gable end like so then when you're finished with just with a sanding stick they come down extremely easy so I'm now going to get on and start laying all these tiles and hopefully when, when I come back I'll have both sides done and we'll be at the top so I'm going to crack on okay I've almost completed uh, both sides now and I'm just going to start work on the last course running across the top now if I turn the cat to the camera that way as you may have noticed I've glued a piece of timber on top and this is to bring the last quarter tiles well it just gives it something to lean on on that last course of tiles that run through on both sides because they're just about a three quarters that sit on there and also this is going to give us something to actually uh, make the ridging on as well because I'm going to use foil and make a lead ridging all the way across the top so I'm going to continue on now uh, cutting these ones and fitting them on both sides and then I'll come back to you and we'll have a look at the ridging okay now I've completed the courses on the top and as you can see I've just sanded them flat looking down the ridge I've just slapped, sanded it flat with a sanding stick just so it meets the actual timber now there's a few options now you can actually go with uh, doing the ridge uh, the first thing you can actually do is go out and cheat buy a piece of angle uh, styrene and you can glue that directly on top just make some cuts into it uh, to give the impression of a ridge uh, the second option is you can actually make some foil like lead work up to actually go on the top there which is very easy to do uh, a lot cheaper and that is the option I'm going to go for on this one I am going to go for uh, actually doing some lead rig, uh, rigging so as I'm going to go for that option I'm just going to show you how to actually make it and it is very very easy to do okay first things first first thing we need is something to use to make the lead work now I use these these are the foil dishes uh, you can pick a, a pack of them up for about a pound 
I do prefer the long ones, but at the time I went in, that's all they had was the small ones. Then what we need to do is cut it up into bits. Uh, I've got one bit here as a demonstration purposes. It's just one of the ends off this end here. And just with a block of wood on a nice flat surface, if you get the block of wood, you can take all the creases out just by gently rubbing over the top which means it can be used so once you've taken all the creases out we need to form this up into lead sections like this for our roof now what I've actually done it's going to surprise everybody I've made a little jig now, all it is is a one point, uh, sorry, 2.6 piece of round styrene, and I've just glued it to the corner of a block of wood. It's as simple as that. And all you need to do then is get your foil, lay it over the top, and crease it in, like so. And if you'd seen how I make gutter in, it's the same. So all we do is that. Then what we do, uh, I'm going to set this at roughly about five mil. I've got a piece of balsa wood which is five mil thick. With that, then just simply draw a line that side and do a line the other side as well like so let's make sure it's all nice and flat slide that off and with a pair of scissors just cut along the lines this is just so we've got an equal amount either side And like that. So now we've got our piece. Oh, I'm wrecking that bit there. Look. And that's the shape you should have. And it's the right shape to go on the roof. Right, I'm going to make a couple up and then I shall get them fitted to the top of the roof. Right, I've glued my first bit on. Just using a little bit of super glue, run it along the edge. And a little tip for you, just get yourself a pencil with the rubber and use that to press it down with. Uh, then you don't apply too much pressure and break your tiles. And you just overlap the second bit. Make sure it fits nicely. And you have your lead work. You may have noticed as well, I've left it overhanging a little bit because when we've finished uh, pointing up the gable ends we can just snip that and fold that over and just make it look like it's uh, how they finished the lead in them days was just to fold it over on top of each other just to stop the wart from getting in so I'm going to finish that off and get that trimmed up also I've still got to clean up my gable ends get them tidied up uh, they're still overhanging I shall get all them bits and pieces done and complete uh, just a matter of sanding down the edges here and then I shall come back to you and uh, then we'll just get finished off the gable lens get them pointed up and that will be it it'll be finished and we'll probably talk about a little bit of weathering as well final clip and I'm pleased to say that I've managed to get this whole video together uh, and as I said in the beginning of this video I did lose quite a few clips basically through human error and uh, well we won't go into that it was my fault so but we've completed uh, everything has been done the lead work has had a coat of grey uh, field grey on it ready for weathering and weathering I've not done any weathering at all. 
only what I did inside. The simple reason being is that I've got no plans for this little building. Uh, what will happen to this? This will go onto my shelf for the moment, and hopefully some some build will come along where I will actually use it. So that's the reason why I've done no weathering. And at the end of the day, if you do do this build, you're going to weather it how you want. And I didn't mention actually in the video, but I did do some damage to the roof. Uh, and to be personally honest, I would have not put half the tiles on. I think with all the roof trusses and that, it would have looked pretty good with most of the tiles gone in the centre. But that's my opinion and if you're building it, you do it exactly the way you would like to do it. Now, I'm going to leave you with uh, some close-up pictures. Uh, so you can see exactly what's been done and what it really do, really does look like because you never really get it uh, looking good on the video and there will be other small builds on the way I've already got two in the pipeline so I'm going to thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we will see you on the next one and enjoy the pictures